Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, Star Citizen. No, not Starfield. Star Citizen. Remember that game? The Kickstarter sensation I personally backed for 125 bucks to get a freelancer ship back in November of 2012, which was, oh my god, nearly 11 years ago. The game that earned well over $5 million from its initial goal of 500,000. It promised a rich universe of great space exploration scheduled for release in 2014. Now, obviously, like nearly all crowdfunded games, it didn't hit its release date, and in fact, missed many release dates since. And I guess technically the game is released. Chris Roberts, the game's big boss, said it was released in 2017, but it's labeled being an alpha when it needs to be, especially when talking about the game's bugs. Yes, it is definitely as confusing as it sounds. And you would think a project like this would become outdated, especially with the release of a game like Starfield. That should, for all intents and purposes, capture the same audience, but it hasn't. In fact, the most fascinating thing about the game is that according to TechSpot, Star Citizen's crowdfunding budget recently reached $600 million after a decade-long development cycle with no release window forthcoming. Of that sum, developer Cloud Imperium Games, CIG, raised $100 million since last September, indicating another extremely successful year. And it's that information that I wanted to look into, because as I read the article, I kept thinking to myself, how, how is this possible? 600 million is a lot of money. That's some mega super triple A money right there. And I kept thinking, what is it that these players want? What is it the gamers who play Star Citizen, who are investing in it, want? Because if you were to go right now, try the game as a newcomer, it's, it's rough. And I kept thinking, what the, what the hell's going on here? And I realized, or at least came up with the theory, that Star Citizen, at its core, is a dream. A dream of a game that could one day fulfill the wildest dreams of its players. And sure, I think some of that is sunk cost, and some is, I put money in, I want it to be good, so if I put more money in, then it'll get good faster. It's a lot of human nature, probably the same that uh, exists when people buy into the lottery, but it's also while the devs aren't necessarily sharing with players their grand timeline of releases, the team does give those who buy in an inside look into the dev process. People who are involved, who are buying in, get to see the game grow and change, and I, understand, I think, but watching from the outside, like a 30,000 foot view, it does seem a lot like people are buying ships and then new ships are released and they wanna buy those ships to have a collection of ships. Like it's really not about completing the game so much as it is having all the stuff like collecting amiibos or Funko Pops. It's about that aspect of human nature. So it doesn't really matter if the game releases, it's about owning a part of the game should it ever release. As I'm sure you can tell, I've been thinking about this a lot today and I'm trying to figure out what it is because as Starfield comes out and more people get that space sim kind of vibe, it feels like Star Citizen is in this weird place where it's been around for a while and is becoming dated, but still isn't officially out, yet still is making a ton of money. And it kind of feels like development as a service. You are paying in to witness the development of a game, whether it is ever finished or not, you are in there and you get to feel like you're a part of the process. It goes back to that idea of, it is a dream of what this game will become. A game that when it is finished, if it is finished, will be spectacular and worth all the investment. I, I guess that's the best I can figure. If you are, into the game, if you're playing it right now, or if you've invested a bunch of money, please, in the comments, let me know, because this always has seemed weird to me, and I really am trying to figure out what the deal is with Star Citizen. Again, like I said, as Starfield is coming out this week, it seems that Star Citizen as a concept is becoming older and older and older and more outdated, but everything I read online, people are like, this is the future. And so I'm just very confused. 
but I would love to know more. In other, less philosophical news, we're getting a new Nintendo Direct, that's right, and this time, it's all about Mario. The dust has settled from the huge release of Zelda, and the hype train for the newest Mario game is coming just in time for the holidays. This Thursday, as many of you are settling down to play Starfield, Nintendo will have an in-depth look at Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This time, of course, the gimmick being the Wonder Flower. When you touch a Wonder Flower in the game, the wonders of the world unlock. Pipes could come alive, hordes of enemies may appear, characters might change their looks, for example, transforming the gameplay in unpredictable ways. Excitement and different surprises await in each course. Reads the Nintendo description of the game. This, as they said, will lead to some wild things like Elephant Mario. That's right, Elephant Mario. He can be anything. Look at his boy go. It looks like it'll tickle that 2D Mario itch in wacky and creative ways. And I'm sure that Nintendo YouTuber you like watching will be freaking out about it this Thursday. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks so much, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.